Hello everyone, Christopher Barrelette with the Barrelette Collection at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. I am here with another great new construction opportunity in sunny Central Florida. Today, April 30th, we are in booming Winter Garden at Lakewood Preserve. Winter Garden has been highly sought after for years and with close proximity to Disney and other major attractions, it will continue to have our attention for years to come. Behind me is the Spruce, built by Pulte Homes. At first glance, it seems like a more typical plan, uh, but they do a great job of making the spaces bigger in certain areas, and they have some great options to do even more of that as well. So I can't wait to show you all of what you can do with it. Now at Lakewood Preserve, they are going to have some great amenities. There will be a fitness center, resort style pool and cabana, splash pad, and a children's playground. Plus, this gated community lets you stay active outdoors all year long with direct lake access to Johns Lake. It is just minutes from Florida Turnpike 429 and offers immediate connectivity to shopping, dining, and employment. With 12 different designs, there is sure to be something here for everyone. So call me and let me find the right plan for you. There are also two new additional developments coming soon from this builder that are actually going to be in this area. So reach out to get on my coming soon update list. The Spruce is available with three to four bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, and is just over 2,100 square feet. At the time, the starting price is uh, $428,990 for your lot, structural changes, and any other finishing touches in the design studio. Pulte does a great job of building in great functional spaces, as well as having the luxury finishes available. They also pride themselves in high efficiency scores that will help your pockets in the long run. Let's pop on into the Spruce and let's see what you think of the layout. Upon walking up, the Spruce, spruce is subtle but lovely. I love the stone options on this one as well as the columns that they added. A little bit different from where we've seen this in other neighborhoods. So definitely a nice touch. Again, having that added siding uh, up on the kind of upper level or where the you know, roof is, I think is a great uh, addition that gives it a good style and curb appeal. So let's head on in and take a look. Now, one of the things actually before we do that, one of the things that they do offer, and this, as we talked about your ability to extend and do bigger, they do offer a garage extension. So they will take it out an additional four feet. Uh, and I think they're showing that to us there by the uh, pavers that we had there. So they do extend the garage out an additional four feet to make it larger for you. So nice wide and open foyer, and again, a great prelude to how well the layout is spaced. So to your right, you've got your flex area. Uh, great size, I think great for an office or sitting room, depending on what you wanna do. Nice large window, so it's good space overall. This will become your fourth bedroom if you decide to do the fourth bedroom option. Uh, so they'll go ahead and add in a closet uh, for this room as well. Um, to your left when walking in, you have a great space available for whatever kind of furniture or piece that you might like to do there. Um, or again, on the other side, they're doing some great job of showing you some of the things that you can do. Uh, but you have a lot of space in this area. Nice long wall here, a bit of a wall on this side. So you're definitely going to want to have something ready to go here. Now, to the left, before we head into the rest of the house, you've got the door that's going to be for your garage. So coming kind of in from right there. And then this is one of my favorite spaces. Spaces in Pulte. It is a perfect space for your kind of mud area where you can have your shoes, coats, hangings, things like that. Um, and they know some great folks that can actually come in and put a uh, nice kind of wood installation there for you as well to kind of fill it out a little bit better. Uh, so your AC unit is going to be right in this closet here. Whenever you're servicing, you're going to head right in and take do it there. And then your laundry room, great size overall. You got for your machines, cabinets above, and your utility sink. Not really extra for a workstation. That's kind of the next thing I always look for is if you have a little space in here where you can work, but you don't quite have that just good enough uh, on the uh, laundry size, in my opinion. All right, so let's head back on out now and time to take a look at the rest of the home. 
So right here, we're gonna have our cluster of kind of bedroom, bathroom. Uh, so we'll pop in first to bedroom two. I think a great size overall, a little bit more than some of your uh, size of a typical bedroom that you might find around. Uh, you've got your closet there, nice and tall, good size as well. And depending on where you are, it might not as good of light that kind of comes to this window, especially if it's facing like it is now, which is a wall next door like a neighbor. All right, so then we're gonna have uh, a nice hall closet here. Uh, so any added linens and things will go there great, perfectly. Then on into bedroom three, very good size again. They're a little bit more, a little bit extra than some of those typical bedrooms that you find. It's kind of a you know twin setup, so it just kind of shares some of the same setup and, and as far as features and what it deals with, with the other room deals with as far as the lighting. So on into the bathroom that they share. Again, giving you some great ideas on what you can do. These are the granite countertops, so you can get uh, an idea of what they are giving you here. These are uh, available either, you know, you have your quartz countertops or your granite countertops, whatever you choose, you'll find those throughout. This is a great example of the tile work that's available in the bath as well. So let's head on out and take a look at the common areas. Before getting into the kitchen, you have your pantry kind of off to the side right here. So I do kind of like that. Some good space, good room for you. Definitely plenty of cabinets otherwise. So you should be able to get what you need for your pantry in there. Uh, and then you have great cabinetry in the kitchen. Uh, so the island is probably yeah, more of a typical size, a little bit smaller than uh, some that we've seen. You do have your cabinetry to kind of give you some added storage space, but no sink, no dishwasher. So it's not that kind of larger size island. You can see it about three comfortably when looking to entertain. So I think it's absolutely uh, great for that. The Whirlpool stainless steel appliances is what you're gonna see throughout uh, the Pulte home options, but they're doing a great job of showing you what you can do when it comes to your cabinetry as well. Now this is a more Tip, uh, I said, should say regular kitchen. They do have the option of doing a different layout with the chef's dining and to have like double oven, that kind of thing. I love the placement of this window as I think it should never be dark in your kitchen. So love having that here as well. On into your dining, which is plenty of space because again, because the room is so open, you can do just about whatever you want here. So you can definitely have a nice large size table if you want to seat six or see a couple more, even more than that. I think you have such good space over here that can't beat it. And the window right there will make sure that it always has uh, some good lighting throughout the day. Now this wall to the left here is actually absolutely huge and definitely open. So it's you know, giving you some furniture here, but I think even if you did something of adding some cabinetry, making a bar and adding more to the kitchen to give it uh, you know, more cabinets, more space, it's kind of like an extension would be a great option there as well. All right, heading on looking at the gathering space. So this has ability to get whatever level of furniture I think that you want to get in here. Uh, definitely nice and wide, and they're not even utilizing it as much as you possibly could in this space. Uh, but I'll definitely get those dimensions for you so you can, you can start to get an idea of what you might like. Uh, maybe something of a large TV kind of bookcase or, or installation on this side overall. Again, the uh, tray ceiling is available as an option. So if you'd like to do anything there uh, to give the room a little bit more and something to pop. So we'll head out to the patio. Um, they went ahead and did the extended cover the night option that's available on this home. So you do have a regular size patio, but if you'd like, you can do the extended option. And as you can see, it is nice and long, gives you great room. If you're gonna have somewhere where you need to eat and do that, as well as somewhere you wanna sit down, relax, you have a great enough space for that in this back area. Just need to get it screened in, keep all those bugs out, and it is summertime fun. All right, let's head back on in. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification buttons to stay up to date with us and more content, uh, real estate, everything Central Florida. So coming into our primary bedroom, a good size overall as far as the length, it's nice and long that way. Uh, so I do enjoy that. Uh, now in the last one I was in, they had the option of the tray ceiling. I don't see it here, but it should definitely, uh, uh, or more than likely will be available for you as well. Uh, so you got your walk-in closet here. I think good spacing, perfect 
for one, maybe a little tight for two. But who knows, we'll see. And then on into the primary bath. So again, there's a couple different options here. Um, they probably have done the long shower, which is usually a typical option that they'll do in the models. You have that bench there as well as the long shower. Again, some great examples of what you can do when it comes to the tile and the tiling options that are available. And then as well as the countertops and the hardware cabinetry, it is some of the best. So showing you some ideas of luxury and touch that you can touches that you can have in there. All right, my friends, that was the spruce. I really hope that you enjoyed this layout. As I mentioned, I think it did a great job of keeping it from that typical plan and offering some great ways to uh, have extra and the rooms themselves are nice and kind of bigger and give a little bit more than some of the typical rooms you see out there. Uh, so any more information on this home or any other home in the Central Florida area, please don't hesitate to give us a call, 407-630-8484. I will see you in the next one. And as always, ask for Christopher. I'll talk to you later.